we will discuss approximate algorithm so in the previous videos <coughs> in the previous video you have seen uh, how to find the exact solution for combinatorial problems like traveling salesman knapsack and even uh, assignment problem here you learn how to find the approximate solution for a combinatorial problem in this video we will learn how to find the approximate solution to combinatorial problems like traveling salesman problem assignment problem and knapsack problem in previous videos you have learned how to find the exact solution for these combinatorial problems by applying different design techniques like brute force greedy dynamic programming backtracking and branch and bond backtracking anyway it's for non optimization problem you have learned this traveling salesman problem knapsack problem and assignment problem how to find the solution exactly <coughs> now in this video you will learn how to find approximate solution to combinatorial problems in the previous videos you have learned how to find exact solution to the combinatorial problems like traveling salesman assignment and knapsack problem by applying branch and bound design technique and other techniques also you have learned brute force dynamic programming and greedy now when you find the approximate solution as it is already a name itself will tell you it's approximate solution it will be close to optimal solution so when you find the approximate solution measure the accuracy ratio accuracy ratio is equal to approximate solution that optim for the optim optimization uh, function divided by exact solution this is for minimization problem so for maximization problem it is <coughs> exact solution divided by approximate solution now we will see how to find approximate solution for traveling salesman problem this algorithm is also called nearest neighbor algorithm the heuristic is always go next to the nearest unvisited city in the first step choose an arbitrary city as the start then repeat the following operation until all the cities have been visited go to the unvisited city nearest the one visited last so finally when you have visited all the cities return to the starting city so we'll apply this nearest neighbor algorithm for this graph start the tour from a the nearest nearest neighbor is b move to that then nearest neighbor is c then d then you have no option you have to come back to city a tour length is 10 this is approximate solution now exact solution is a to b b to d d to c c to a the tour length is 8 we will calculate accuracy ratio approximate solution is 10 and actual is that is exact is 8 you'll be getting the value 1.25 so for this example when you find solution by approximation algorithm the tour length is 25% more we'll see one more one more algorithm with which you can find 
<coughs> approximate solution that is also called multi fragment heuristic algorithm sort the edges in increasing order of their weights then initialize set t empty t is nothing but set of two edges then repeat this below steps a step in time add the edge from sorted list to t provided this addition does not create a vertex of degree 3 or a cycle of length less than n otherwise skip the edge so once you have added n edges into this t return the set of two edges next algorithm is uh, we'll see for knapsack problem knapsack problem already uh, you know the problem statement that is if you have given n items with weights w1 w2 etc wn and the corresponding values v1 v2 etc vn and capacity of the sack is w the problem is to find most valuable subset of items that fit into the sack this is the problem statement for that you are required to arrange value to weight ratio in descending order then select the items that fit into the sack then skip the items that does not fit into the sack that is how you need to choose the item so we'll see with the example here now four items is given and you are required to find the approximate solution for scheme k equal to 2 that means you are required to generate all possible subsets of length less than or equal to 2 so that is being generated here that means null set 1 2 3 4 etc these are the subsets containing two or less elements <coughs> the next step is uh, for this already value to weight ratio is arranged in descending order when it is null set we'll see which all item can be added to added to the sack you can consider the first item when you consider the first item weight is 4 4 is less than 10 if you consider the second item 4 plus 7 that is 11 11 exceeds the capacity of the sack you cannot consider the second item then third item fourth item can be considered so total weight is 10 and value is 40 plus 25 plus 4 that is 69 like that when the subset is 1 you can add some items into the sack so we'll see one by one already one is there two you cannot consider because total weight is 11 exceeds the capacity of the sack only possibility is 3 and 4 that is again 69 like that when 1 2 is not possible 1 3 already 1 3 is there so what you can consider is only 4 like that you generate all subsets of length less than or equal to 2 and try adding the remaining eight items and find out the corresponding value so from that you choose the optimal solution here the optimal solution is 69 and the subset of items the most valuable subset is 1 3 4 this can be represented with vector format also that is first is consider considered 1 comma 0 comma 1 
comma 1. This is the solution. Thank you.